Hello and welcome to Real Hi Fi Hell. So, you want to install Audifile Linux. I'm not going to go through the specifics, but I'm going to show you where to find the information so you can install it. There's the official homepage, aplinux.com. This is it, you know? This is it. This is all the installation that you do. Yeah, it's it's not a lot of fun, I know. Um, that's all the comments. Then there's more about it on this page here. And tells you a bit about the experience, the configuring after it's done. Um, that's basically how it looks when you're done with, with the desktop uh, over here. Very, very simple. You know, it's basically like the most simple operator system that, that exists uh, without any help. And there's also places like Reddit where you can get a lot more information. Sometimes that, of course, will change with the time. So not very specific, but it's just to let you guys know that this is the guy that I used to install my Audiophile Linux. Actually, I had my brother do it for me because he's a lot more um, into this world where I'm still, you know, uh, more in the in the Windows world, but I'm I'm doing everything now on Linux. I'm 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 done supporting Apple, Mac, um, Windows, all these things. The future is Linux. It's so. It's so slimmed down and specific, so that depending on what you want to do in Linux, like Audiophile, for example, if you want to listen to the highest quality music, you just get a distro that, that does that. Um, where I feel that Windows is catering to too many people that are just stupid. It, it, what I mean is that people aren't stupid, but the, the re I mean, it's trying to obviously sell itself and please all the age groups and when you do that you make the nerdy uh, audiophile user suffer because you don't specialize and you have all of this fluff and loads of gigabytes of stuff where you're not using um, you, you, you're never really going to use all this stuff as an, an, an audiophile uh, person and let's just face it when you have a proper streamer you're not going to be playing games because if you have a graphics card in your streamer, it most likely will affect the sound in, in quite a, a substantial way. So you're not going to really be playing games on a streamer. Also because if you have a proper LPSU for your streamer, it's most likely only, only going to be 100 or maybe 200 watts. And that's not enough to drive a streamer that also can can play games so you know it's 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 either or you can of course get the most basic streamer that has a normal power supply that runs windows and all of this but you're not going to get anywhere near the really really good sound so this is what i recommend doing and uh, this is how you install audiophile linux those three links so look into that and also look into, if this is too difficult, look into maybe doing this instead, Ubuntu Studio. Because that's like a nice compromise, like like halfway over to, to Windows, where you still have the low latency uh, processing going on, which is the main reason why Audiophile Linux is so good. This still has low latency. So if you're a studio... Uh, editor if you like audio file stuff this is the the stuff to use but for people who are more nerdy who dare to go into the unknown <laughs> and really dig deep this can sound can notice that i said can can sound a lot better i remember i have to tell you guys this i remember installing audio file linux a couple of times and it actually didn't sound better than Windows. It sounded worse. Until I figured out the correct sequence of installing the right drivers in the right way. And then when I was done activating 
the proper parts in the proper sound programs, that suddenly opened up for a whole other level of detail. Whereas the thing is, if you're running things in a normal way, consider this, you're most likely to run something in, in, in a, like a generalized driver type of way. So it's a bit like when you put a, a new screen to your computer, you might get a picture, it might seem convincing, it might seem like nothing's uh, wrong, but if you go deep into the settings, you might realize that Windows hasn't found a driver for your screen. And what will happen is that it will give you a generic driver so that it's able to run. But you might not even know this. So the nice colors, you know, the, the $1,000 extra that you paid for your screen might not show up. It still might look like a subpar screen because Microsoft chose to use a generic driver to make that new screen that it doesn't recognize work. And that's the problem with Windows and operator systems in general is that they use a lot of qualified guessing, a lot of bloat software, a lot of things that go on top of each other, meaning that you're not getting into that really deep sound. So this is why you really want to install stuff like Audiophile Linux or at least try something like Ubuntu Studio or at least look at my other video where I was talking about top operator systems and then realizing that there are some few things that you can do to make your stream better. So that's all I have to say in this video. Like and subscribe if you want to support this channel. Bye.